Hi guys, welcome Hi to guys. a brand new episode of Hot Toys Talk. I'm Paul. I'm Tom. And today we thought we'd talk about something a little different. Something you guys have asked, so we've been talking about on comments and stuff like that. We thought we'd talk about the DX line. Bring back the DX line. Um, for me personally, I felt that the DX line was a great, great line. I, of course, we had some issues with the eyeball systems breaking and stuff like that. But that could have been easily sorted. Why they stopped the DX line, I have no idea why. Um, me and Tom were just discussing about the DX line. We, like, we just looked up some of them, which we thought this is why we should get this episode out for you guys and speak a little bit more about DX because it's a missed um, figure line. And this is my, my, my complete set of DX lines so far. Um, I'm hoping to get the uh, first Joker. Um, I love Jack Sparrow. And I'd love to get Bruce Lee. You'd love to get Bruce Lee and... Look, they were the ones, they're your main ones that you would love to track, try and track down. But especially, they're definitely a missed, missed um, opportunity set of figures. Uh, just due to everything about them, um, I felt that the packaging, the box was so good. Um, the soft sponge that the figures came in. It looked like Hot Toys went out their way to put uh, some hard work into these collectible figures to make them collectibles. Um, and this MSS, like the normal version of Hot Toys figures, I think they're cheaply, the boxes are cheaply done, um, I think they're just like sort of shoved in there uh, and you look at them, pure clear plastic, it doesn't look that attractive, some of the boxes don't look that great, yep. um, even for like Star Wars figures, I thought even, you know, DX figures in the Star Wars line could have been so good, you know, yep. I felt for some special figures it made a big difference on them, it, even the look on them because the eyeball system, the, the pairs and it also came with like the light up stands. They were the big main thing. And the fact that, I mean, look, for example, like DX05 Indiana Jones. I mean, look at the, eye, the amount of accessories you get with that. Like Especially the fact it's layers it's upon layers. You pull the thing out, you've got layers upon layers. And obviously, like, the first Joker came with, I mean, it's kind of special editions. You've got, like, the Joker. you got, like, it came with the, with the police Joker. But you also got, like, look. And if you've got the special edition version of look, it came with the mask. From the Empire Strikes Back, half Darth Vader, oh, Darth Vader yeah. and some of them I just I felt were. I really want it back. I think like okay, some of the figures we've got now, um, are sort of trying to copy that with the eyeball system. It's it's like DX, but it's like DX is still there, but we're not getting the DX treatment. They're not giving us like the box to go with it. And some collectors, I know myself personally, I like to keep the box, and I like to have my figures made sure like they're. You know, they're kept nice and protected inside this box. And this styrofoam that you got with it protected the figure. And if, and if it did get bashed about in the box or whatever from whoever was shipping your, your figure, at least the styrofoam kept the figure sort of nice, sort of nice, nice and, and... It did. Nice and neat. And I think, like, there's a lot of good DX figures. I mean, what is it all together? You said it was 15, 16? Was it 15 or 16? It went up to 15, 16. And... I just think that I want it to back. I want it back, and I'm sure you guys out there are missing the DX line. That you want it back. You thought it was a really good, nice line. Get to the uh, main Joker. That's it. No more DX. But we do sort of kind of have it still going in sense with that Terminator TX. Was it the, the Terminator? Terminator T hundred or like um, police station for the T one. Um, for Terminator, uh, Terminator 1 movie, you've got the kind of stand that looks like a, a DX stand. Yeah, with the road and the, the light the up road stand and, all that and stuff. the light up eyeball. And light up eyeball and all that, and then it, it gets to Batman Returns, and you look at the stand that Batman, that Batman is on in Batman same. Returns, and you go, wait a minute, he's in and the it, same it, type it, of stand as the 1989 Exactly, and they improved on that one with the eyeball rolling system. They improved on that one. And you're like, that, that is a kind of DX. You're like, why is it no class as a DX? I don't know, but they, impro they definitely improved on the eyeball, eyeball system. I think they gave us, the, they improved on that. I mean, you, you imagine, you imagine if they gave like, you imagine if they gave Chewbacca, Han Solo, Rotating the eyes, or they gave layer rotating eyes, or they gave. Yeah, even if they don't have to do the whole Star Wars. Um, no, but gave what, gave gave a figure that would look good with rotating eyes. Do you know what? I, I think the, the, the figure that even, I'm not talking about rotating eyes, a, a DX treatment for D Darth Vader would have been nice, because he's like sort of like the, the main you want, like sort of like 
the, one of the main characters. I mean, I know they were doing the DX treatment for all the Batman 1989 line. Mm -hmm. And they sort of kind of gave the DX treatment and copied that for the Batman Re Re Returns. But when it's a two-pack, I've always noticed if they did that with a two-pack, the other figure, like if it's just like like uh, Bruce Wayne, doesn't get the DX treatment, just gets a standard treatment, a standard stand. And, you know, and because that figure doesn't come separately, you could just, you're just getting a bonus. If you pay that extra money, you're getting a two-pack. Yeah. That's fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind if they get the, the other figure. Like, I think even that Joker, the police officer Joker, did, didn't get a the DX treatment. He was just a standard figure. I don't mind things like that. For somebody, it's just a, it's coming as a two-pack. But yeah. I, I think that the DX line was so good. And it, I, I felt you were you were getting your money's worth. I didn't mind paying two fifty for some of the DX figures. DX figures were quite dear, like two forty, two fifty, maybe even two sixty onwards. That's how much a DX figure line really cost. And you didn't mind because every figure at that point was like two hundred, maybe just over that. Just over that. And, and in terms of accessories, man, you were getting with some of these were loads. loads. So and you didn't. And Daniel Jones was the oh, most. Oh, and, 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 and Jones was my most. It was the most um, I've seen in even the. Figure. Joker DX12, uh, even him, he had a lot of accessories. Um, the next step up from the Joker, even the first Joker had a lot of accessories. But I think, like, not only that, that the fact that you were getting all all these accessories, you're paying like 250 You didn't mind paying the extra because of the treatment that the DX gave you. I just think the problem with that is it's just they stopped it and they're just making them cheaply and fly. A lot of collectors, I think, out there including myself are quite mad at it just bring it back Hot Toys mm -hmm. bring it back I mean there's a lot of the X-Ones you want to get go uh, back because they're neither dear some of them are going high I mean I know you don't I know you don't quite like the look of them and you're no impression but I would like to get them and I would like to get an MJ uh, Michael Jackson there was I what, would like three, to get three them. of them I would like to get a Michael Jackson two, two. there was two or there was there was two or three two and then two, there was like a two pack two. away but I'd love to get Michael Jackson with it. I just think it would just be amazing. Uh, just the, the detail of his face. Yeah, or the bad one. Or the bad, or the bad one, or the um, the um, smooth, the um, no smooth criminal, the uh, thriller one. Yeah, thriller one just looks as good as well. So, you know, they've really got his face to a T. Definitely. And I mean, then as you said, you says um, Johnny Depp is Captain Jack Sparrow. Um, he just looks really, really good. He does. He looks really good, and he would be really. I mean, the Jack Sparrow, he comes with. I think he comes with a lot of accessories, but he's quite dear. Uh, he's, he's really hard. He's, he's really gonna kind of hard to get. And I know a lot of collectors. I follow like Facebook, um, Facebook chat like pages, and a lot. Of, you see a lot of people try to hunt for this. As then they get rid of these the DX lines or these figures, and Jack Sparrow's always on the the one that people are looking for. The no, most. I, but yeah, I, I really wouldn't mind having Jack Sparrow. I really wouldn't. I've got to be honest. If I could, if somebody was given getting rid of Jack Sparrow tomorrow, I would pay three hundred odds for him. Aye, I would. That's about the most good. I'd pay for him. I wouldn't mind paying that. I'd pay a good bit. But thanks uh, very much. Okay, but um, definitely, um, I think it's a missed. I think everybody um, wants the DX line to continue again. I, I think Hot Toys you should really yep. continue. I know they don't think they're going to, but I think they're letting their the collectors down, their, their fans and that down because it's just it was a great line and you felt that you were getting your money's worth for paying for these figures because their high end collectibles are really expensive and you don't want to be getting some cheap looking box and the figure just shoved in there, you know yep. I, I, honestly as much as I like the Batman Returns look at the Batman Returns box um, I like the, the cover for it the snow effect and the the two faces, especially the two pack, and then when you pull it out, you've got the under layer, which is snow effect in the Batman symbol thing. I like that. I know that's all good, but I like the foam inside it and everything, and the fact that it's got layers upon layers, and it was just nice, nice little done box. And some of them had the magnets. That's what the, the Aye, said. That's and it, it pulled the, the magnet. Pulled the magnet out, holy clipped with the magnet. Well, it was a lot of thought put into a box. Just it was. It was. There was. I think it was. A lot of smart brains that just went right. Look, let's do this hot toy, and let's like give it the accessories, and let's give it these accessories that are going to be different from any other hot toy, and just add all these gadgets and all these 
bobs and weight and all that and then they went oh add this wee thing in so to get this part on you need to use this magnet to thing me this part on to connect it on to do all that and it made you think but then it made you go but when I get it all connected and all built up it's going to look really good it's going to look really like the um like the like the bat like the batman and all that the way the mind joker comes with the gotham Gotham City Cathedral background thing. Yeah, there was they, a lot of things. They, they've all got magnets on the thing. Yeah. So when you attach the magnets onto the thing, it's a mad, it's a background that comes up and it makes it look cool. And then I thought to myself, I can't really get it into the, um, I can't get it to get it into the IKEA cabinets because it's too big. So because I've not got a glass door at the back of one of my glass cabinets, I flipped my glass cabinet round so that the back space in the front and then I just get duct tape and I sell it to the back to drape down where all the Batman figures are and it just looks amazing you see the Gotham Cathedral you just see it, the background draping down and all the figures are standing there in front of you and it's like that's that's awesome man that's just such a cool background definitely so what would you say is your favourite DX and I'll right off the back favourite DX um I don't know what I'd I'd have to just probably say Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. I, I think Bruce Lee just I've no got him but I think by the look of him you get two bodies, you get the Bruce Lee with the you can have him with all the the, the claws when he obviously fights the the villain at the end of the movie and you can also have him when he actually sneaks out at night and he goes to climb down the the um shaft where the and then when he goes returns there Another night they put a snake there and he puts a snake in the bag and he's in his mad black stealthy outfit and all yeah. that. I just it's just amazing figures. Yeah. The that detail of his face is just amazing. He was one I really wanted to get plus he had the mirror background as well. The mirror background. And you can actually you can actually you don't just have to have the mirror background, you can actually change that and have the other you can flip the bottom and flip it round and then you can flip the mirror and flip that round and have the other room before he goes into the mirror room, because remember he's in the other room fighting him, and he, he he throws the he throws the spear, and he pushes the door, and the door spins round, and then Bruce Lee pushes the door, and it it spins round again. So he's in that other room before he goes into the mirror room. So it's like you can have that other room, and instead of the mirror room, or you can have the mirror room. So it's it gives you it gives you two. Yeah, kind of kind of like Indiana Jones with it. The what and then the Jones and then the Jones just get the map room. The map room and then you flip it around. And then you flip it around and you've got the um when he collects the gold gold idol and all that. I know, I know. I like that and plus you could you could have him in his map room. Did you ever put him on that no? I did I had to, I never managed to get the the background and all that. I had the Did you I have him in his what his staff and that? I had him um no, I never changed him into his staff. I mean to do that. For Hot Toys viewers out there, I mean to do that for you guys out there. I'll eventually change him into his um, other outfit because he's one figure I've, I've meant to get and take all his clothes off and put him put him in his um put many robes. But you know, I I need the space and obviously the glass cabinets don't really have the space. No, no, I'd need, I'd, something bigger. I'd need to what I, what I would need to be doing is I would need to take like every figure out in that glass cabinet like that's in the glass um section where he is and just just have him himself yeah. and wait and then take a photo of him and then you know that's him definitely i agree but mine's for me it's very hard because as much as i love the first jack nicholson joker i also love the main joker mm, i thought the main right. joker's face is really good but um it really has got to be the 2.0 uh, heath ledger version uh dx 12 I really think that's a really good, as much as I like the first version, it comes with the cop, but the, the only problem is that the jacket's a bit off, the purple jacket, um, they made it very quite dark purple, and then they, when they, they did go give us the sort of reissued version a couple of years later down the line, they gave us more um, his traditional coat, and this is more of the coat than than it is um, in, the first, in the DX01, it should have been that colour purple, but you know, but it's good that they we actually they gave us they went and did a reissue a two point version, and they fixed the code. They gave not only that they gave us a smudged look from the middle of the film when he's carrying the gun and 
you can take the coat off and have him sort of he gives him the chair and he's on the jail cell with the table you know they, they've gave us that look so for me i have to say dx012 joker um as much as i love the jack nicholson jokers and i just wish it could continue it kind of is still out there guys but anyway let us know in the comments below what's your favorite dx do you want it to continue do you feel like that line had had its day and you're happy with the M mms uh just standard hot toys line or did you not really bother with the dx let me know in the comments below guys always don't forget to subscribe for more hot toys talk um, don't forget to subscribe to Tom's channel. Yep. Links, links below. Links below. He's doing unboxing videos and other collection videos. Anyway, guys, take care. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.